Hello everyone, this is ASMR. If today welcoming you to my new Lightroom tutorial. Today I'll show you how to add or edit like a moody color. Uh, I imported uh, uh, these type of pictures from here. Okay, this one is imported. Okay, okay this file are my library file, and I will edit this one. Okay, mm, I'll take this photo. Oh, this one is good okay now just select the develop options it will open up in a developing mode uh, that means you can enable for the editing uh, here is some panels that is the same panel as the camera or filter in Photoshop and uh, here is also a uh, menu panels and uh, here is uh, uh, imported photos let's start uh, this photo uh, already everything good but uh, i will uh, adjust the shadow highlighting had shadow and highlighting and uh, other things like that exposure i will reduce the exposure a little bit increase the contrast a little bit and highlight for the highlight press the alter button and uh, highlight this one when the dots appear on the skin and leave it okay and shadow also you can add shadows i'll just reduce the shadows whites press the alter buttons and just when you are watching the doors in a skin just leave it and blacks okay uh, blacks just uh, when some dots minimum dots okay leave it after that uh, go to the curve tone but curve tone i will work with it uh, later and luminance of the red at first I'll reduce and saturation a little bit increase and hue I'll make it like that okay that's good and saturation of green I'll decrease and the aqua I'll decrease this one and uh, luminance I'll decrease after that the split toning uh, I'll give some color which is like that okay here is some color palettes you can use those color palettes or you can make it own this one is good okay and saturation 19% and the shadows highlighted color and shadow color I'll give like that that's good and the saturation 22 percent after that sharpening of amount i'll increase the sharpening amount 43 percent and noise reducer luminance and color like that that's good i should expand the exposure okay after that uh, here is uh, options that is the camera calibration from the camera calibration i'm just adding like the camera calibration blue primary blue like that minus 46 and primary green okay nice that's nice primary red like that you can make like that yes that's good and now the curves tone curves and uh, press here just press here and you'll get this one and just select here here and here after that you'll just up this slider a little bit oh, that's good and uh, after that i will open it up in a photoshop that's why i'll go to the file and export ctrl shift alter e from the keyboard and from the export um, i'll just after export uh, the option i will give the uh, open in adobe photoshop cc 17 and just give the export options and i am choosing this uh, export folder and press the export options use unique username okay. it will take time to export this one and it will open in a photoshop automatically after that uh, after opening photoshop i will work on that yes this one is opening in a photoshop and that's why i'm closing the lightroom okay 
our photoshop open up opening up actually yes okay and here i will adjust the dodge and burn option okay press ctrl j and j two copies and i am giving this one b and giving this one d b for burn and d for dodge okay turning off the d option select the b option and going to the blending mode in a skin blending options and just sliding the slider and highlighted area i will find out okay i got it and press the alter button it will divide and adjust with the panels okay and hit okay after that mask this and go to the image and apply image and hit the okay button after that turn on the d options make it multiply the blending mode and blending options i'll go and just slide adjust and highlighted shadow areas and press the alter button it will divide and adjust with the color and shadows okay hit the okay button and mask this one and go to the image and apply image after going apply image in this case make it invert and hit okay okay select this two layer and make it group make it just mask this one and image apply image after going to the apply, apply image uncheck the invert option and hit okay you get little bit change, change uh, shadow and highlighted areas of this photo okay after that i'll go to the curves and from the curves i'll select the blue curves and select here and here and adjust the curves like that yes a little bit and again curves and from the rgb curves select here and here and i'll add some vignette or grammar okay after that just make a copy of the this background layer and select all these things and make it group and make it mark by pressing ctrl shift alter after that i'm turning off the groove too and this one is our main photos and this one is our image. okay after that go to the color lookup options and from here you have to choose uh, color which is okay uh, you have to select this one actually and color lookup you should press this color lookup in front of this window okay you can adjust this color lookup uh, here is foggy effects okay that's that's good and foggy effects i will reduce the opacity of the foggy effects 17 percent that's good okay and select to this layer make it group make it merge by pressing ctrl shift alter e and go to the select uh, actually the filter and camera filter going to the camera filter uh, i will add some camera calibration from here like that okay great i will work with it and some exposure a little bit 0.05 and hit the ok button ok and after that go to the uh, filter and nick collection before going to the nick collection i will add some uh, particles over there a light ray actually just take a blank layer ok and make, press d for just uh, reset this one make it white and take the brush select the blank layer and click here once uh, i'll show the settings of this brush uh, brush tool right button and i'm uh, using this brush and the brush hardness zero percent and size 300 pixel and after that opacity 100 percent and flow 100 percent and click once and press ctrl d and make it like that and just rotate this one okay you can make it bigger more bigger after that select this one uh, after selecting this one go to the filter and the blur and from the from here motion blur uh, motion blur i will adjust this one like that and hit ok after that same thing select here uh, filter go to the filter and blur and then gaussian blur from the gaussian blur panel you have to just adjust this one like that 
ok and hit ok uh, press ctrl j now for making another copy of this layer and just move this one like that ok that's good you can adjust this one with the ok and another blank layer and just take another brush and select here once in same settings you will just give and just make it expand and give like that okay and keep it behind the layers those layers actually you can adjust the opacity fill and other things okay if you want okay after that select these four layers and make it group make it merge after making it merge, I'll go to the filter and camera filter and Google Nick collection color effects pro 4 from the color effects pro 4 I will add some uh, just filter which is uh, a vital point for the photo just because of uh, it will give uh, extra effect on your photos okay Google Nick collection I'll give you the download link uh, on your video description this Google Nick collection okay I'm using the cross processing filters and here are other filters of including cross processing and you can use one of them okay this one is good there that is also good and other filters you can use one of them okay this one is good okay and hit the ok button after doing that um, it will take time to save your uh, image or prepare your, your image okay it's preparing actually saving image okay and after that I'll reduce the fill a little bit and it will just mix up with the uh, layer 5 and it will give you a nice effect and I'm making it group making it merge after that going to the adjustment layer color lookup and horror blue color after horror blue color I'll decrease the opacity I'll give opacity only five percent okay make it group okay for this uh, reason I'll uh, opening um, uh, replace embedded the previous one uh, the main image which one uh, downloaded from the internet okay and I'm, I'm just placing here this one was our main image after adding the moody color you will get this image okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on my video comment section or you can contact me on social media and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend till the next video i am asimarif signing out and bye bye